hello everyone welcome back to our channel so before we get to this video please subscribe like and share and don't forget to press the bell icon so today we're going to talk about brazil so basically some lorry drivers in brazil being loyal to the president jair bolsonaro have blocked roads across the country after his poll defeat to leftist rival lula Blockades were reported in all but two states, causing considerable disruption and affecting food supply chains. With all the votes counted, Lula had 50.9% of the valid votes against Mr. Bolsonaro's 49.1% in Sunday's runoff. There are concerns that the outgoing president could complicate the two-month transition period before Lula. The full name is Luis Inacio Lula da Silva. Lula is a former president and is due to be sworn in on 1st January 2023. Pro Bolsonaro lorry drivers started setting up roadblocks across the West Common Country soon after the election results were announced. By Monday night, the Federal Highway Police reported 342 such incidents, the biggest protests going on the country's south. Some of the blockages were later cleared by the police. Many lorry drivers have benefited from lower di diesel costs during the Bolsonaro administration. Supreme Court Judge Alexandre de Moraes on Monday ordered the police to dis disperse the roadblocks immediately. He also warned that although still blocking the road on Tuesday would be each fine 100,000 Brazilian real, reals per hour. The following morning, a presidential advisor and Mr. Bolsonaro's vice president running mate were seen arriving at the presidential palace in Brasilia. But it's not clear if he met people close to him and what was said. Later, Mr. Bolsonaro was seen leaving the palace and traveling to the building where his official office is located. Combative statements from the president in the past, such as only God, could remove him from office, mean there is a tense wait for him to appear in public. Before the election, he had repeatedly cast unfounded dupes of the voting system. In his victory speech soon after the results were made public, Lula, 77, touched on the political rift running through Brazil, which further deepened during a bitterly fought and often acrimonious election campaign. He said that this country needs peace and unity. This population doesn't want to fight anymore. Congratulations have poured in from across the world, including one of the leaders of the UK, China, France, India and Russia. US President Biden said the win came following free, fair and credible elections. It's a stunning comeback for Lula, a politician who could not run in the last presidential election in, in 2018 because he was in jail and banned from standing for office. So this is for today. Thanks for watching. Before finishing this video, please subscribe, like and share and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.